hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel chipego is my name april 2700 is my youtube channel and subscribe is what you guys should do so today we are doing a um a transformation but for my dress i bought this dress on ebay clearly it doesn't fit too well so this is a dress before i think the length was okay and everything but it was a little loose clearly i didn't like the neck details and yeah, the neck details sucked because this is not the way they looked on the model you guys i can promise you that also it was a bit too big around my bust because you know as the itty bitty titty community and yeah even behind it was just ill-fitting especially the top half i hated it um i'll pause here and say i lost some footage yep i lost some footage but we move anyways i lost some footage so what i did was that i cut the sides of the dress first and pinned them with safety pins and then this is me like sewing a zigzag stitch after cutting the excess from the sides i hope that makes sense i really wish i had the footage but what can i do what can i do we move Zigzag, 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 stitch, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Yeah, this took some time. Let's fast forward it, shall we? Damn. Okay, after I was done with one side, I switched it to the other side and i did the same zigzag stitch all the way down the dress i said by back stitching because they say all this back stitch and then i just went straight down the dress at the end you also back stitch just to make sure your stitches don't unravel because that would suck that would definitely suck voiceovers are so weird um okay after that, I simply put the dress, lay the dress down, and I wanted to get rid of the top half, the part I didn't like, remember? So what I did was, did I pin it yet? Did I pin it yet? I don't think so. Yeah, I thought I could do it like freehand, but then I decided to pin it like the good girl that I am. I pinned it to the other part of the dress which was ready the back part of the dress which was ready cut so that i could do it in a straight line and uniformly <sighs> yeah that's me pinning it and then i simply got my scissors and cut the dress where i wanted it cut I made a mistake i did not leave seam allowance and then i realized my mistake and i was like oh no can i fix it now and i realized i couldn't on the side that i already i had already started so i flipped it around and cut it started cutting it from the other side and this time i left seam allowance and yeah although the other part was still like it was irretrievable but still we made it work all right so yeah, I cut through after pinning it, always pin, so that your fabric doesn't move around when you're cutting. And then for the sleeves that were attached to the back, I used the seam ripper to rip out the seams so that I didn't destroy the fabric in the process. Yeah. Get them out pretty easily, actually. And yeah. And then I had a little debate with myself on what to use for the straps. At first I thought I could use that. But then I realized I already had two perfectly good pieces of fabric once I cut that weird neck piece out. And that's what I used for the straps. So I have to separate the two pieces. I just used the seam ripper again just to get rid of the seams. And once I was done they were some perfectly good pieces for straps if i must say so then i decided that oh, using one for a whole one would be like such a thick strap and i wasn't about to get thick straps so i just needed only one you guys one so i ripped out the seams that made one of the things and then I cut it in half. Yeah. So then I was done 
hooray see me pain takes a lot of patience because wow you guys after that i folded um one piece like four times so that i could make a strap and i did a straight stitch not a zigzag stitch a straight stitch right down to like seal it you guys i'm sure you know what i'm doing what i'm saying and then i did the same for the other item and now it was time to like hem the top part and attach my straps to the dress so i folded it where i could because remember i made a mistake on the other side i didn't leave seam allowance but i folded it properly on the side that i did leave seam allowance and attached the strap and then i went to my trusty sewing machine my sewing machine's name is clementine by the way so i went to clementine and i removed that other part which you've seen me remove so that it could be easy for me to like sew the hem of the neckline and i sewed it with sold so sew, sewed it with a zigzag stitch you guys because i think it should be stretchy not like not stretchy because it's around my neckline i need them to be stretchy yeah so that's how i hemmed it come on this video is taking forever and then what did i do and then after that so you can see where the where the um straps attached i sewed over that too to attach them to actually attach them without using the pins with the thread i'm sure you catch my drift yeah just make sure that you get them in there because they were a bit bulky on that side so it was hard to get them under the presser foot but we did it and we move after that i simply attached the other side of the straps to the back part front part which one is it front back back part and i did i stitched them yeah i stitched them together to the dress on the part where they were attached only because the back part was already hemmed i used a straight stitch for the attachment on the back straps because it was just a small part and it was already hemmed i did not want to like make it an uniform with the other stitching the dress came with after that i was practically done you guys i was done can you believe it i turned the dress the right side out and i looked at her and i was like wow chipo look what you've done look what you did that was all you baby all you and i snipped snipped the excess cotton on the side left over from sewing just made it real neat and nice and then i tried it on and yeah this is my dress now i like the fit it actually fits me on the neckline and yeah yeah guys i also like the back you think it was like really messed up at the beginning i don't know if you can see the difference i can and i'm happy i bet you can too so yeah thank you for watching my video guys and let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this because i'm going to be like what do they call it pimping most of my clothes now that i have a sewing machine now that i have clementine and yeah let me know if you want me to be taking videos of that process and if you're interested in watching such things thank you for watching subscribe bye